In this video, we're gonna be installing the Keys Motorsports M Sport bumper for the 4 Series. Let's go. What's up everyone, I'm Steve and you're watching F33. Now if you like this video, give a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss when a new video drops. Now today is finally the day that we get to get rid of that broken OEM bumper and install a new Keys Motorsports M Sport bumper on the 4 Series. Now the M Sport bumper from Keys Motorsports comes with everything that you need to install it. You're gonna transfer over a few clips and you might, if you have surround view cameras, need to punch the holes in the sides. And I'll link a video to how to do that on the M Sport bumper. Otherwise, it comes with everything you need. Now make sure if you do need to punch those holes for the side view cameras that you do that before you get it painted. Also, if you have PDC, make sure to mount those PDC brackets before you get it painted because the two in the middle on the M Sport actually show through on the bumper, so those will need to get painted, as well as the headlight washers. So even if you don't have headlight washers on your vehicle, you're still gonna have those headlight washer caps. And by default, they're locked in position, and I'll show you there's a couple tabs that you have to break off if you do have headlight washers, but be sure to put those uh, give those to the paint shop as well so that everything is going to match. Now, like I said, there's a few clips that you're going to have to transfer over, but all in all, it comes with everything you need, even the air scoops to cool the brakes. So while they're the same as the OEM, I figure let's swap them out anyway. They're fresh, they're clean, and I paid for them. So um, we're going to put in air scoops. We're going to mount the side view cameras. We're going to mount PDC. We are going to mount the headlight washers and the grills. Now, because I have the radar cruise control, I actually have to use my existing center grill uh, from my old bumper. Thankfully, it wasn't cracked at all, so I can swap that over. But the one that you get from Keys Motorsports, the only option is the, uh, the plain grill that normally comes on an M Sport. So just so you know, if you do have radar cruise, you'll have to reuse that. And if yours is cracked for whatever reason, you can buy a new one off of, you know, FCP Euro or something like that. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. Um, now to do this, the air scoops to cool the brakes, um, there's basically two push pins and I believe it's an eight millimeter that you'll need to do. So we're gonna walk through one of them, no need to do two. Um, so I'll show you how to get that mounted and then we will head over to the bumper, get everything transferred over and pop it on. All right, so this right here is the eight millimeter that you're gonna to wanna to remove. All right, and this one right here and this one right here are the two clips that you'll need to remove. Also, there's a sensor right here that you'll have to pop off as well. So let's go ahead and remove that. Just get yourself, you know, some sort of trim tool. And basically you just remove the center. And they come right out. And then the sensor just has a clip to unplug. All right, so one thing that you're gonna to wanna to make sure not to forget to do is transfer over this clip here from your old one. So we are just going to slide this back on in, just like that. We're gonna attach the push pins. Right, 
we're going to attach the sensor. Push in the center. And then all you need to do is just tighten that eight millimeter again and your scoops are all set. All right, so now this step is only gonna be if you have radar crews, because like I said, we need to transfer over this center grill. Now to do that, this is held in pretty tight. Um, so you're just gonna wanna use something like a trim tool and just go into each one of these clips and gently just kind of twist and pull up and you're gonna have to do, I don't know, it's like 12 or, or 14 clips or something like that. It's, it's quite a lot. And then also um, you have some, some wires and things that are running through, um, through the top here. So just kind of a cable management, so just be aware of that. But then this whole thing is going to lift out and we can transfer it over to the new bumper. Now, like I said, this steps only if you have radar crews because Keys Motorsports provides all new grills. Now, I also have the fog lights, so I chose to keep fog lights. Um, so the only thing that we're gonna be transferring over is from this bumper are the fog lights, the uh, washer lines, and the PDCs and cameras. So, um, like I said, the grills, you, can, you, can, you don't have to transfer them over. So let's pop this over into the new bumper. All right, so when putting this in place in the new bumper, um, you're just gonna wanna be really, really careful, okay, while you're clipping these in, because you don't wanna damage the front of your bumper when it's sitting on this, okay? So you might wanna use something like a rubber mallet, not to hit, but to just kinda gently put in place, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm just gonna start by kind of trying to press these slowly in place, okay? And I'm just, I'm just doing one by one. All right, so that looks like all the clips are in. Uh, and basically what I did is I pushed down and pulled up. That way I wasn't putting any stress on the actual bumper. All right, and then two of the other clips that you're gonna wanna transfer over are the two at the top here. So all that you have to do is these just kind of, just kind of slide out. Okay, so take both of those, transfer them over. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna put in the grills and the fog light mounts. So the side grills, they're gonna pop in the same way that center one did, okay? So let's go ahead, pop that in. And again, just press up on the front of the grill and down on these grills. Two hours later. All right, so now that we have both sides pressed in place, I'm not gonna lie, it was a giant pain. Like these, these are really, really hard clips to get in. But take your time, use a rubber mallet to press down, make sure that you're pushing up from the other side so that you don't damage the bumper on whatever it's laying on. It goes in, it's just a giant pain. The way I found to do it is actually to like start from the back kind of push it and swivel it down so it covers the clips and then you can kind of work your way from this side using a rubber mount to press in. So now comes the time to put the fog light enclosure in if you have fog lights. 
So this is just going to pop right in here. Now there are some screws that you're going to use and those are going to come from your current fog light enclosure. But all of these mounts all line up nicely. Very, very happy about that. So why don't we head over to the uh, other bumper, take the fog light out and all the screws and everything so that we can get all this in place. All right, so these are all eight millimeters, except for you have one push pin up here that we'll need to remove uh, with a trim tool. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, eight millimeters to remove. There's also a connection down here that connects the PDC and the radar cruise. So we're gonna actually, before we do anything, why don't we just go ahead and remove that. That's held on with a little Christmas tree here. All right, and then while we have this trim tool in our hand, why don't we go ahead and remove that. There we go. Let's take our eight millimeter and let's first, let's first remove the fog light. The fog light is held on with two eight millimeters. Okay, there's the fog light. And then let's go ahead and remove these other three eight millimeters. Okay, and we're just gonna transfer these uh, eight millimeters and that push pin washer over to the other bumper. And then we can also lock in the fog light. All right, so I got all the bolts over from the old bumper. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna line up these holes. Pretty, pretty easy stuff. And the bumper is going to want to flex. So when you're putting it in there, um, you know, the bumper is going to move a little bit. And it's because this is giving the bumper some of its shape. Okay. It's some of its rigidity. So don't think, oh, the holes aren't lining up. What's going on? Um, it's not, it's not that it's, it's fighting against the bumper and giving it its rigidity. And you're not going to want to do this very tight. This is plastic and plastic. So I think I, I have my drill on five. So do something like that, four or five, or use a hand ratchet. All right, and then the last part to give this kind of its shape, we're gonna put this push pin in. Get that all the way pushed in there, and then just push in the center to lock it. And then I am going to just give this a quick wash. It's dirty, why not, right? So what I'm using to clean uh, is some of this Chemical Guys uh, No Nonsense Invisible Cleaner. And I just sprayed it onto a rag. You don't have to do this, but I figure I have all of this stuff off. This is as good a time as any to clean it. Also, uh, while you have the front bumper off, if you're doing like a conversion from like the standard bumper uh, to an M Sport, it's a really, really great time to um, clean out all those places where like the air ducts, like your oil cooler and stuff like that, 
sit because leaves and other debris all like to sit in there. So really create time, get out your vacuum, get all that stuff out. All right. So there are two tabs on this. Hopefully you can see that. Let me bring it a little bit closer. Okay, so there's two tabs on this. And these two tabs are gonna sit on the bottom of the bumper and they're gonna go into, into two little slots that are right over here. So we're gonna slide these tabs in and then just kind of wiggle the fog light in place until, until it seats on these two mounting points. Then we'll take our screws. And tighten those up. All right, so fog lights and grills are done. Side supports are done. So I think what we're gonna do next is we're gonna lay the PDC in. Now, some people like to disconnect all the PDC and then run the wiring. I, I think the, the easiest thing is to just leave it all connected. Now I wrote on the PDC which, where it went, so like, you know, driver's side, uh, driver outside, driver inside, passenger inside, passenger outside. I also did that to the camera so that I won't mix it up. But I think we're just gonna leave all the cables connected, just lay it down. There's no reason to disconnect it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump over to the other bumper. Now, you may notice that I'm doing like the right side of the old bumper and the left side of the new bumper. And that is literally just so that it's easier for me to film this. I have the camera in the middle of the two bumpers. And this way I'm not moving things back and forth. I'm just swiveling the camera. So, you know, I know some of you guys in the, in the comments are gonna be like, hey, you're putting the wrong side on there. That's not the case. Um, I'm, I'm literally just, you know, swiveling the camera back and forth. I'm putting the correct side on. So let's head over to the old bumper. Okay, so I got as much of the bumper in the shot as I could. Um, and there's four sensors total. So we have passenger, uh, the two passenger, and the two driver. And so the way these come out is, you don't even need a trim tool to be honest with you. You just basically, there's two tabs. You pull those tabs away and then just lift up on the sensor. So we're just gonna do that on all of these. Okay, and then the only thing left is we have the cable that's run through the cable management here. So we're just gonna kinda unweave it from the grills. And now we have one long string here. All right, so, so let's hop over to the new bumper and pop these in. All right, so let's throw these on. So these are just gonna He's just gonna pop right in place. You know what, and actually before, all right, and so before I pop these in place, I think I'm just gonna wipe down the, the outside. Now these are gonna have your factory paint on them, so hopefully they don't look much different than your painted, your freshly painted bumper. I tell you, I really like this chemical guys, no nonsense cleaner. It works awesome.
All right, and then we're just gonna go ahead and weave this, weave this cable through. Nice little cable management. And then this center one is for radar crews. So if you don't have radar crews, don't worry about it. All right, and this is where uh, the Christmas tree fits in for the radar crews so that it doesn't, so it doesn't go anywhere. Um, I got all of the cabling all in, so we are good there. So the next step is to hop on over. There are some screw clips that we need to put into these from the other bumper. We just need to transfer those over. And then there are also some screw clips that go here that we need to transfer over from the other bumper. So let's head on over. I'm not gonna bother moving the camera around. Um, you just pull the screw clip off and you pop it on. So let me go grab those and then we'll put them on. All right, so I used a trim tool to slide off from the old bumper. So we're just gonna pop these on. They slide on much easier than they come off. The ones uh, up here are a little bit more difficult depending on if, you know, if the plastic is a little bent or not. So they'll take a little bit more effort to get off, but, but not really too big of an issue. Flat side goes towards you just in case you forgot when you were moving these around. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to remove the washers. So how this comes out is you're gonna to wanna to push, push the washer out and kind of pull, pull it out. And then you're gonna to wanna to take, take that piece from the front of your bumper off and slowly slide this back. Don't just let it go. All right, so you could, if you want to, take this off, it's up to you. I'm gonna just leave it on there and transfer it over to the other side. So the way you take this off is there's two clips here. You pull these two clips this way, and then this kind of just slides out towards you. There we go. All right, so let me get the other side and we'll bring it over to the new bumper. All right, so we're just gonna lay this in here. Now, before we fully mount these, obviously we need to put in the sport pieces on both sides. So here are your headlight washers. So let me just uh, kind of zoom in here a little bit. So now, your headlight washers come with 3M. The way you're gonna to wanna to mount this is this little flag piece needs to face down, okay? This open part needs to face in towards the bumper. So, so this one here, this is the passenger side because of that flag. And basically that flag is gonna hook onto this little support bracket here. So um, that's kind of how you know the orientation. So now, if you do not have headlight washers, there's nothing that you need to do with this. Um, basically, this comes with these two little tabs here on, on the cover, and that locks this in place. Now, if you do have headlight washers, you're not gonna want those tabs because then this can't come out, right? So you're gonna wanna remove those tabs. So just kind of press in, take this off, these, these are the two little tabs that you're gonna to wanna to remove. And just take, a, just take a razor blade and cut those off. Obviously make sure to cut away from you. All right, so now that that is cut off, you can see this is no longer locked in, so that means it'll operate with our washer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to do the other side. All 
All right, and perfect. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to mount these. Now, it's, it's pretty cold in this garage, so in order to get this 3M adhesive to stick, I'm actually gonna use a heat gun, heat the 3M adhesive up, and hold it in place for a while. I wanna make sure that this obviously is not gonna come off, right? So let me go grab my heat gun and we'll get started. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and heat this up. All right, and I think, I think actually what I am going to do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna mount this. This is gonna make it a little bit easier. I realize that by taking the tabs off the door, now I can't get the placement right. So do yourself a favor, don't take off those tabs first. Get it mounted first, then remove the tabs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this in and how this works is this tab just fits on the outside and then these kind of slide in. Okay, and just make sure that it's in all the way Otherwise your nozzle is not gonna come out as far as you need it. So we're just gonna heat it up. We're gonna take off the tape. We're gonna pop this in place, hold it down for a little bit to make sure that it adheres. I'll probably do, you know, somewhere like 30 seconds or something like that, just kind of holding it in place pretty tight. All right, so let's heat up this adhesive and we'll stick it in place. And when you stick it in place, make sure to look from the bottom to make sure that it's exactly where it needs to be. There are little um, kind of kind of guidelines on where it should go, but every bumper is a little bit different. So just look on the outside. And just for reference, I have my heat gun set to 400. Just make sure that you don't sit, you know have it in one spot too long. And if it's hot out, like I said, you don't have to do this, but it's like 30 degrees, so. Definitely, definitely want to heat up the adhesive. All right. Okay, and just lightly, lightly push it in there until you're sure. Perfect. All right, so we'll just hold this on here. And like I said, give it a good like 30 seconds. All right, and we're not gonna really worry too much about putting this in the clips. Basically, um, where this goes, it just pops in this clip here. We're gonna, I'll, I'll pop in this side, what the heck. But uh, might as well wait for the other ones to get to the other side. That way it'll give you a little bit of room if you need it. And then the only thing left that we need to do is the cameras that are over on the side. If you don't have cameras, then you're pretty much done. There is a support piece that we're gonna do, and so I'll show you, I'll show you that. All right, so I got the adhesive on, and it, this is the very high bond stuff from 3M. I'll put a link down in the description to uh, where you can pick this up. Um, but basically, I just, I heated this up with the heat gun, got it, um, super, super soft, and I put it on. This is about, I don't know, maybe an inch and a quarter, and this one's about half an inch. Um, just put it on there, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the red off. We are gonna heat it up again, just so that we get that other side nice and soft and sticky. Make sure that uh, before you stick it on that you clean this up. I used a little isopropyl alcohol uh, and a cloth to just wipe that down, make sure that there's no contaminants. So we're going to peel this off, we're gonna heat it up, and then this is basically just going to stick right in here. And it's a tight fit, so there's not a lot of, not a lot of wiggle room, but um, there's also markers too that show where this goes on. So let's go ahead and peel this off, I'm going to, I'm gonna start my heat gun here. And we'll just go ahead and peel this off. All right. So again, try not to leave this um, in one spot too long. We don't wanna damage the camera, obviously. 
And I know that this, you know, the camera's meant to be in high heat, it's next to the engine, it's, you know, out where the sun beats on it all the time, but we don't wanna, we don't wanna put heat directly onto it. All right, so now that it's all nice and tacky, we're just gonna pop this in place. Awesome. All right, we'll just hold this on. And uh, like I said, the Keys Motorsports bumper does not come with the uh, camera holes drilled. So that's gonna be something that you're gonna have to do when you get it before paint. I have a video that I did that goes over how to drill those holes. It's not hard at all. Uh, and the holes are, are actually marked for it too. So there's no guesswork there. Um, it's really easy, but like I said, you wanna do it before paint. Um, but these, Oh, this looks, this looks amazing. I'm so happy right now. Okay, so the only thing left is we have a support brace in the middle that we're gonna put on, and, and like I had mentioned before, we're only gonna put on half of it. The other half is gonna be once we get the bumper mounted. All right, so now is where you're gonna take your support piece from your old bumper and pop it on the new one. Now, mine broke in the accident, and it's actually two pieces is how this works. So. Yours probably looks something like this, okay? But this is a kind of a variable piece here that kind of decides how far down this is gonna go. So because mine's broke, I have an assumption that it's probably gonna sit something like that, you know, that low, but I want to make sure that this is fit correctly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fit this piece in and it basically goes in the bottom here, okay, and clips, okay, just like that. And then, like I said, yours will have this sticking out. All right, so now what we can do is the bumper is ready to go on the car. I'm so excited. I have not seen the bumper on the car in quite a while. Filming projects, it takes a long time, and so it's been quite a bit of time that I've seen the car with the bumper. So let's, uh, I'm gonna move the camera and let's get the bumper mounted. All right, so now is the time we get to throw it on. You'll notice that I put some blue painter's tape on the fender right by where the front bumper uh, hooks up, and that's purely just so that you don't scratch your fender. Now, I'm gonna be replacing these fenders with the uh, M4 fenders, but I still don't want these all scratched up. I may end up you know, pounding out that dent. I may end up selling them, I'm not sure, or just keep them. But regardless, it's a good idea to put some painter's tape on there so that you don't, um, you don't scratch your fenders while you're putting this on. So there's gonna be a little test fitting that we're gonna to have to do um, on this because again, you know, the other one, uh, the, the original had witness marks to where these kind of fit in. So this new one doesn't have that. So we're gonna have to kind of put it in there and kind of test fit it, close the hood um, and, and make sure that everything kind of seats correctly. So we're going to very, very lightly um, put in these top, these top um, fasteners just just so that it doesn't fall off, you know, it sits in there correctly. Then we're gonna go through and we're going to fit it under the lights. You'll see that there's this black uh, plastic piece here. The, the bumper actually fits in between that black plastic and the light. So we're gonna do that. And uh, we need to connect up electrical connections. So the radar cruise is gonna plug in right over here on this side. Um, then we also have three electrical connections that are gonna connect. Uh, one of them is the fog light, the other two is uh, radar cruise and PDC. And then on each side, we're going to have the camera connection, the fiber connection. So um, that's what we're gonna do. I, man, I am so excited to, to put this on. All right, so let's grab the bumper. And let me just, Kind of go around to the other side here. All right. So So 
So you'll see that there's actually some, some tabs up here on the top that this is going to slide into. Basically, you're gonna to wanna to slide this into there. Now the two outers, those are a T25, and the inners, I think there's what, six, six bolts on the inside, those are all T30. So I'm just gonna put this T25 in here. I think this needs to shift a little bit. And then here's where Right here, the bumper is going to fit inside. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure that I have it all centered up on the top. This looks, this looks awesome. All right, let's get these in here, grab my drill. Again, we're not going to put these in tight at all. This is just so that it doesn't, uh, it doesn't fall down. And then once we, um, once we get it to where we want to be, you'll have those witness marks for the next time. So it'll be a little bit easier. needs to slide over a little bit. There. All right, so we're just gonna put these in. Now those of you that um, had maybe the, the regular uh, luxury bumper before or sport bumper before, this is gonna be a huge, huge change uh, to the front end of your car. Now for me, I already had the M Sport bumper, so not too much of a change for me. But, um, oh man, this, this just looks, this looks awesome. Really, really great job. The, the paint shop that I took it to is Auto Arts in Raleigh. And they just, uh, man, they did a fantastic job. This paint matches is, is absolutely perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to make those electrical connections. Like I said, it's just, you have fog light on each side. You have those couple connections there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Then what we can do is we can tighten up the sides here and um, just make sure that the bottoms fit in the way it should. And then we can start tightening up all the bolts and kind of uh, test fitting with the hood to make sure that everything's where it should be. And if you have washers, do not forget about your washer connection. All right, so I got this side all buttoned up. I'm gonna walk through how to do it on the other side. Again, you got your, your camera, your washer, your fog lights if you got them, PDC, radar crews, all those connections, make sure you make those. It's very tight. So depending on how long your bumper has been sitting uh, open, the plastic will try to stay in that position, okay? so. It's, it's got to take some time to really work its way in and, and really kind of kind of get that overall form fit in there. But um, so it's, it's gonna be tight when you're trying to put in these screws and stuff like that. So just know that you're gonna kind of have to work with it a little bit. Um, but let's head over to the other side and get that all screwed in. Man, this, this, this looks so, so good. Okay. Let's get to the other side. Okay, so basically we just have 
two screws. They're the longer ones. And they're gonna go up right here. And then we're gonna have four that are gonna secure uh, the fender liner to the actual bumper, all right? So they're all eight millimeters, so we're just gonna go in and put it in, and again, just make sure that your bumper is in between your light, okay? And just kind of pressed in, and then that's gonna go up into those pegs. All right, so and I like to start these by hand, so I'm actually gonna start this outer one first because it's easier to get to. Um, that way it'll hold the fender in place so that we can get to the other one. All right, so now we get the other one in. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, that was a giant pain in the behind just because the bumper is so stiff. Now, if this bumper, if it was cold out, or I mean uh, warm out, it'd be a lot more malleable, but you know, like I mentioned before, it's like 30 degrees here, so the bumper is kind of stiff. Um, it should be much easier the second time around, but yeah, this first time it is kind of a pain because it's just so stiff. But I gotta say, I mean, this thing lines up perfect. And I absolutely love that there's no side markers here. I had deleted them on my other car. I had the IND paint matched uh, markers, but on this, no need. All right, so now uh, the only thing left to do is to put in the four eight millimeters for the fender liner. We have one more piece to put on the bottom, then we'll test fit, and we should be good to go. All right, that looks awesome. All right, so now the only thing left to do is this is the bottom piece that goes uh, right between the bumper and the bottom plate. So you'll have these clips and you just gotta transfer them over to your new one. All right, so now basically we're just going to close the hood slowly to just make sure that the gaps are correct for the front end. And once they are, we'll tighten those down. But man, this, this looks awesome. This looks really, really good. I'm not gonna put the grills in. Uh, I got a separate video that I'm gonna link to the grills that I chose, cause I'm gonna do just a, another video just on those grills. And plus I have another thing that I'm gonna put in behind the grills, which is an air scoop. It's a carbon fiber uh, AFE air scoop. So I'll link to that as well down below once I get that video out. But man, this this just, this looks awesome. So let's get uh, let's get to test fitting. All right, so it looks like it's out a little bit on this side, and this is a little bit too close, so we're just gonna pull this out a little bit. Let's see, right about, I'm just, basically what I'm doing is I'm matching up the gaps um, for the fenders just to have sort of a like for like. All right, so something like that, I think is gonna be good. And you may have to do this a couple times, you know, as you, as you kind of push these in, just in case they come out a little bit. All right, so I've kind of tacked down the sides. Wow, that fitment is awesome. That's perfect. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten all of them down. And then we'll put the rubber weather stripping in. All right, so I'm just gonna make sure that's tight. And swap over to the T30. And I like to start in the middle. All right, so now we're gonna take our weather stripping and BMW gives you a little hint to the middle. They put a little dot, which is pretty awesome. So this is just gonna, just gonna fit on here. We'll match up the dot with the center. And uh, I'll also note that Keys Motorsports puts a center line on their bumper. So pretty easy to match up those two. All right, okay, let's close it one last time. We'll make sure no tools are in there, of course. Man, that, that just, it looks awesome. That just looks so, so good. Wow, so the only thing left, like I said, uh, your roundel, which I have coming. I got a, another video on that too. We got our grills and your, uh, I have a air scoop that I, like I said, is coming. But if you don't have that, you just got your roundel, you got your grills, there you go. You are ready. I, I gotta tell you, I haven't seen it like this in a very long time, super excited. Now, as you saw, installing the M Sport bumper from Keys Motorsports is not all that difficult, but it does take some time as there's a number of pieces that need to be transferred over from the old bumper to the new one. And I'd recommend spending or allocating somewhere around two to three hours for this job. Now, I did install this as a replacement to my damaged OEM M Sport bumper, but the steps are relatively similar if you're coming from a non-M Sport and then going to an M Sport or an M4 or an M2 bumper. Keys Motorsports does a really great job in providing all the pieces and parts needed for the installation. Now I didn't show the grill in this because that's gonna be in another video. I got a special grill that I got from Keys Motorsports Really, really awesome. I also have a carbon fiber air scoop that's gonna be going behind the grill as well. So that again is gonna be another video. So be sure to check that out. Now, as far as all the pieces, uh, tools, specs, parts, all that good stuff used in this video, I'm gonna be sure to link it down in the description below. But if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button, smash it if that's what you're into, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next one. God bless.